Hello, welcome to my second tutorial in this series, Modeling a Car in Hexagon. In the first tutorial, I showed you how to set your blueprints up using GIMP and how to bring them in and align them to prepare for modeling. Now we're going to get down to the modeling at this point. Uh, we're going to be doing polygon reduction modeling, which is simply making a uh, square or rectangle in this case, and we're going to be uh, fitting it, form fitting it, to the drawings. Now before we do that though, there's a couple of things that I want to bring out, or a couple of things I want to do that's going to help us quite a bit. Now as you can see, we've got three panes here that are lined up. What I want to do is while holding shift, I'm going to select all those three panes. I'm going to come up here to the utilities tab and hit this chain group. Okay, now what this does is it basically just groups them all together and uh, we, they can move as a unit but they're all attached. You can't move them separate from each other or independent of each other. Now what we can do as a group we can hide them by clicking on this little eye icon and this is called group 4. I'm going to rename this to blueprint group. Alright, it's renamed so we can all what we can also do is click this little padlock here and well I had it frozen but I'll freeze it now when you freeze the object it can't be modified in any way shape or form hexagon has some unique selection protocols and a lot of times you can actually begin modifying these so uh, these tools here the hide and the unlock and lock will be are very very useful so let's get to modeling now I'm gonna create a square or excuse me a cube and let's see alright whoops okay I'm gonna create a cube this really throws me <laughs> they both look the same okay so here we go now what I've done is I've just created a cube here and it's a little bit bigger in every oops. okay there we go okay it's a little bit bigger than what we need so what we're going to do here is just move it up first and let's set it right there just about on the plane and move it back to where it's back against that okay now going down here click this to rotate the perspective view. I'm going to select the face. Oops. Uh, to, to Using these tools you have to select back to translate here. This one of course is... Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to shrink it down just about to size and then I'm going to select this face and I'm going to stretch it up to where it pretty much covers the whole thing. Alright, very good. Except one problem. Now we can't see our drawing. Well, what do we do? Okay. We're going to go back to, first of all, I'm going to unselect all. Then I'm going to select it again. The reason I'm doing that is because when you start fooling with faces, sometimes it's still only selecting a face. And so I just cleared it and select the whole object again. Now, I'm going to create a new material. And I'll pull this out here so you can see it. This is going to be called the body. Body material. Yes. Okay, now what we can do here is just once we created the material for that, we can slide this transparency control up, and as you can see, dock that back there. It's transparent. Okay this is what we want. Okay, now at this point what I would like to do to draw your attention to is one, I've seen some tutorials where the whoever was doing the tutorial was actually like like the hood of the car here. Let's see, just pull it in. Here, the hood of the car and they're modeling the whole hood. This side and this side. That is asinine. 
because nearly every single 3D program out there has a mirroring feature of some sort. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do it in Hexagon. One's kind of complicated, the other one is very simple. So I'm going to show you the simple method. Okay, now what we do is the simple method, the, the really complicated method is to uh, go up here to vertex modeling and use the symmetry form which actually creates a whole nother piece over here. Now uh, we'd have to just have this and then it would generate the other half and then you could clone it. But we're not going to do that because there's a much easier way. What we're going to do is just simply go down here in the properties, click symmetry and X. Okay, and as you can see here, there's a green box surrounding it now. You can see the green line here, and if we rotate this up here, you can see that little green box. You can see it, it's all around it. Okay, well, what the green box is for is it lets us know that anything that we do to this side is going to be mirrored on the other side and vice versa. You can't make changes one way or the other that will not affect the other side. Most cars have bilateral symmetry and it's with the ex exceptions of like maybe a, a, a gas tank cap somewhere or you know an antenna but most cars have bilateral symmetry on the body at least and uh, any change that we want to make here is going to be mirrored over here. Now the way that we're going to be doing this modeling, it's not going to really make any difference, but I activated it anyway. And I'm going to show you all about that right now. Okay, what we have to do now is I'm going to select this and go in here. Select the pan tool move right in the center. Okay, what we need to do is we need to divide this into uh, several different independent uh, cube forms. So what we'll do is we're going to go to vertex modeling. I'm going to click on this and we're going to go down whoops, hold on. We're going to go down to translation by slice. Okay, so what we do, we can see there's a little square there. Okay. I'm going to click on that. Look what happens. It's just slicing it up all across. Okay, I'm just going to create several slices here, all the way back. Okay, do, they do not have to be perfect. We're just going to make a little outline of the car. finished. Now when you're finished with this, you have to go down here and hit validate to turn the tool off. Now you're back where you should be. Okay. Uh, we need to select a new view, so I'm going to select this view. And I'm going to come up here, right click on this, and select right view. This is what I want. Now, I'm going to pan, bring this here. And why this red box comes up, I don't know, but you can get rid of it by hitting escape. Now, what I need to do here to begin our modeling process, like I said, uh, well, first off, I want to show you something. Uh, we can go in here using the select points, and we can select these points. Excuse me here, hold on. Oh. <laughs> okay. We can select these points. But as you can see here, take a look. Um, switch back on. Look at this. Okay. What's wrong? Well, one thing in particular. You're actually not dealing with one point here. You're dealing with two different points that are joining. The faces of this cube are not welded together. Could we weld them together? Yes, and eventually we will. Now, uh, but for what we're going to be doing right now, I'm not going to do that. So uh, if we try to move this, it's going to move these in 
this way on a diagonal axis. Now, we don't want that. So, to start out, we're going to select not points but lines, edges. So if I select an edge, okay, right here, all right, if I select the edge, it shows up down here, I can slide it all the way down, and as you can see here, the whole thing slides. Now, what I want to do, if you'll watch, and I select the next edge, okay, no, not that one, this one, okay, I got another diagonal arrow, so to, I'm going to have to deal with that eventually, but to kind of get past it, I'm going to uh, select every other face. This will save me some time. Now, as you can see, right here, I'm dealing with the same thing, but we'll get back to that. Just taking these vertices down one at a time. Now, back here, okay, yeah, what happened, okay, and I'm going to just ignore the spoiler for right now, okay, let's go back here to Okay, we're not going to fool with those. Now, we're going to go back to the ridges here. Now, of course, the way Blender handles, or excuse me, Blender, Hexagon handles geometry, we have, uh, we're working on the diagonal now. It's pulling it down. The way we get around this is just to make sure these lines are straight as such. Okay, that one's coming down just about right, but again, you can kind of see here the line starts to be a little crooked, so just slide it back over. It's not a big problem. Okay, we'll come down at a slight angle, just slide it back over, and it's off. Okay, and this one's coming down at a bigger angle. There we go. And yeah, close enough. Close enough for what I'm doing. Okay, this one is really coming down an angle. There we go. Now, yeah. I'll deal with that one in a second. There's an advantage to this geometry, trust me. And I'll show you that in a little while. But not right now. Okay. Only a few more here. And we'll get this rolling. Okay. Okay, we're pretty much finished with the top part of the car, the profile right now. So we're going to go down underneath on this and rotate it this way so I can see the very bottom. Now I can select. Mm, hold on. Okay, I can select those vertices. Now, what I want to do here is just simply start sliding those up. Okay, it's probably going to go up nicely. Alright, can't really see them, I can see the very edge. So that's how I know what I'm selecting here. 